There are 40 earnable outfits in Guardians of the Galaxy. I already did a cool showcase video, but now that the game is out, I want to tell you how to get them all in the different chapters. Although some are also end of the game unlocks, so you can use them in the chapter select or in New Game Plus. I will go through it per character. And how it of course works is that the outfits are in order in the menu. So if you miss one but already found the one that is next to that one in the menu. It means that the other outfit that you don't have yet is obtainable in an earlier chapter than the one you already have. Good to note is that via chapter select you can go back to a previous chapter. And then find the outfits you missed. And once you get them in chapter select you unlock them account wide. So if you then continue with your regular play session or do new game plus you will be able to use these outfits. There will be timestamps in the video bar for each outfit and I will share them per character starting with Star-Lord. So if you like that then a like on the video would of course really help me out and let's go. One more thing before we start, we will only be showcasing the location for the outfits. If you want like a cool showcase of how all the outfits look in the game, then totally check out our other video, which I will link to in the video description. Starting with one of my favorite outfits in the game, period, the Nova Lord, which you get during chapter 2 while walking with Nikki. At one point, you can encourage her or take control. And then she will walk to the right, but you can crouch down and squeeze through some things to find the purple chest on the other side for this suit. Next up is the MCU outfit, which you find in Chapter 6 in Nowhere. So you are able to talk with Drax here. He stands at the end of the universe. That's what it's called. It's hard to miss. So we see it from here and then we want to turn left. And then on your left hand side you can jump down here. And then you will find the pink purple chest with the outfit. Another pro tip is to leave the kids alone that you find close by. And thank me later for that. For the Bad Lord outfit, we want to be in Chapter 8. At one point, you can jump down in the Harmless Fuel or whatever it is. And then you find an object that Drax can carry and put like in front of the tube that you just crouched out of. Then you want to jump on that and then you find the chest. In Chapter 12, at one point, you have to take out some enemies at this sort of dig site. Well, here you can also command Drax to lift an object for you and put it over here. After which you have to ask Gamora to boost you to get higher up. And then you find the chest for this really awesome Apocalypse Lord outfit. I love the helmet. You can already get the Warlord armor at the start if you link your Square Enix account to the game. Otherwise you find it in Chapter 13 after getting the Fire Elemental shots. If you make a way across, you want to be in this cave. So this is the cave right before you see the Wendigo enemies. And Peter is going to like yell his name. Go back in this cave. Here you will see crystals which you can shoot. This will then create a platform that Groot can lift. And we found like crafting materials only here. But there should also be an outfit chest here. If you don't have the Warlord outfit yet. The final outfit you can get for Star-Lord is the Team Lord one in chapter 14. At one point you will have to pull up some cover to not get blown away. And then on the middle platform you can like go either right to get some crafting materials and also left. On the left you can climb up and then jump to this other platform. Here you will already see the purple chest and if you get there you can get the outfit. So for the other outfits that I haven't touched on. The gold lord is an unlock at the start of chapter 14. Sleek lord and space lord unlock after completing the story. Just like City Lord and Sun Lord, which are, by the way, also part of the Deluxe Edition. So if you got that, then you unlock them at the start of the game. Otherwise, after completing the story. And I think the same is the case for the Social Lord, which an early unlock if you get the game digitally. Otherwise, I think it also unlocks at the end of the story. But... Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Moving on to Rocket. The first outfit you can find is the MCU one in Chapter 1 already. At one point you will slide down here. Rocket will then go to the path on the left. But we want to check the wreckage on our right hand side. Jump down and you will see some crafting resources. And also the purple pink chest. The Apocalypse outfit for Rocket is number 3 in the menu. And you find it in chapter 4. So in Lady Hellbender's Fortress. But the location depends on if you choose to sell Groot or Rocket in chapter 3. If you go back via chapter select you cannot change this. So you're always stuck with the first choice. Unless you like replay the whole game. 
or replay it in New Game Plus. So if you choose Rocket, then at one point you're being attacked by a drone, after which you have to order Drax to make an opening. And in this sort of sewer, everyone is walking in a straight line. But at one point, you want to turn to your left hand side to find the outfit. I, I really like it, by the way. Really, really cool suit. But again, if you choose to sell Groot, then you at one point have to complete a puzzle. Like it's a co completely different level, basically. Then take the elevator down to the throne room. And then we want to, from the throne room, go to the right. You can actually go over the table like this. Then go, go, go. Crouch down here. And then you find the outfit chest. In chapter 7, for the Nova Core outfit, you at one point are in this massive room where you have to use your shock elements to make sure that the elevator goes up. So at one point, you order Groot to lift you up. You crouch down through here. And then you shoot the electricity one way for like to continue the mission. But if you shoot it the other way, then you can like on your right hand side actually go to a door where you find the chest for this outfit. In chapter 10, you find the Half World Rocket outfit. It's number 5 in the menu. At one point, you're in this more open area. All the characters are standing near the edge here with the huge crystals. You can interact with Mantis here. We want to go back though and order Rocket to blow stuff up. So then you namely find an opening where you can squeeze through and then you will see like a lot of poison which can remove with the freezing element. And they can order Groot to lift you up. Now you just continue and then actually carefully get to the other side. So this can be annoying because Star-Lord can easily go back. And then you have to hug the wall again, get to the other side before you can return. Which is kind of annoying. But what you want to do is that when you get to that other side near the chest... Move the stick to the left so you actually stay there and then can grab the outfit. The smuggler outfit for Rocket is in chapter 12. So here pretty early in the chapter after you took out a lot of enemies in the first shopping area. You see Rocket and Gamora talk to each other and stand right here. So you can go to the left to continue the mission. But we want to use the wind element to pull the door towards us. And there you find the chest for this Rocket outfit. The final Rocket outfit is the Stinger one in chapter 13. At one point you reach this more open area with the plants that can hurt you. So kind of hard to miss. Don't get too close. And if you just explore this area a bit, you at one point find a spot where you can go higher up. And then you will see a crafting item as well. And the purple pink chest for the Stinger outfit. You of course also have the gold outfit. And you can get this just by playing through the game. And then at the start of chapter 14 you immediately get it. In chapter 4 you find the MCU outfit for Drax. So the second one in the menu. But just like with the rocket outfit in this chapter. The location depends on if you choose to sell rocket or Groot to Lady Hellbender in chapter 3. But with chapter select, you cannot change that choice. So you keep the guardian you chose in the first playthrough, unless you like start a new one or replay the game in New Game Plus. So then you can only change it. So if you choose Rocket, then right after the Lady Hellbender introduction cutscene, you have the drone chasing you. You can shoot things here to get to the other side. You find some crafting resources, an interactable object, and they can squeeze through this. But instead of following the Guardians to the left, we want to jump straight and then you will eventually get to the chest to find the outfit. But if you went with Groot, then you at one point after sneaking past some guards, having Rocket open a door, you enter this huge room. If you then just follow the right side here, you will actually in the end find the outfit chest right here. So... This is if you choose to go with Groot. For the Nova Core Drax, we want to be in Chapter 5. At one point, you're of course in this empty Nova Core room. You have this puzzle with the Pfizer. You have to open the big door on the right when facing the different counters. But you can also open another door to the toilet by tweaking the electricity in this room. And if you manage to open the door, you find the outfit for Drax here. In Chapter 8, we find the cage match Drax outfit. At one point, hard to miss. You're on this platform, got a great view at some cult people. Then you stop in front of this green door. But if you actually turn around, you find the chest. So open it for this new outfit. At the start of Chapter 12, you are at the cargo bay area. If you then look around, actually near Groot for me... 
You find this yellow container, you can ask Drax to pull and then you're able to get higher up. Then you will be able to find this outfit, the awesome Thanos one. The monk Drax is on chapter 13. After leaving the burnt village, we slide down and are in this icy area where you can suggest a crazy idea or an even crazier idea. And they can also climb up. And if you do that all the way, you find a chest to get this monk suit. The Apocalypse Drax outfit is in chapter 14. It looks like this, the sort of golden area. Groot makes a bridge so he can continue or go to the right here. Rocket will make a remark, but you just have to remove the ice and then go higher up, higher, 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 and then you will find the chest for the outfit. And the golden outfit for Drax, just like the others, unlocks at the start of chapter 14. Now onto Gamora, you get her MCU outfit in chapter 3, that's the second one in the menu. It's pretty early on after your first battle and then the objective is to cross the jungle. So you see many big plans, you can interact with Gamora here too. So if you go straight then you continue the chapter, but if you go to your right hand side you actually find a mysterious cave you can crouch into and you will have to time your reload right to continue in this cave. You actually have to kill some enemies alone, which is interesting, and then continue by squeezing through here, and then you find the purple pink chest with the outfit higher up. So basically you follow the mysterious cave, and then you find it. Gamora's third armor is in chapter 7, so you're making your way to Nikki's hideout, you're going down, 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 and if you go down even more, you find electricity in the water. You can remove that with the switch on your left hand side, and now you can order Gamora to cut the pipes and then you can find the outfit. Gamora outfit number 4 is in chapter 10, very early on in that chapter. When you enter the cave you find a waterfall on your right hand side. And of course there's always something behind a waterfall in the game. So go check it out and then you find the outfit chest. In chapter 12 you find Gamora outfit number 5 which is near the end of the chapter. So after taking out some enemies you reach this invisible barrel board at some point after like sliding down. And instead of continuing you want to turn around, crouch down here and then you will eventually find the chest. Gamora outfit number 6 is the black vortex in chapter 13. At one point early on in the chapter you will be able to interact with Drax and talk about all the hunters that left their mark here. Then after a combat sequence you can command Gamora to boost you up this rock here. Do that and then you will be able to find the chest. Now the final collectible outfit for Gamora, which is number 7 in the menu, is interesting as it's different depending on which version of the game you're playing. Both outfit pieces are still in chapter 14 but in a different spot. So if you bought for example the disc version of the game and are playing offline, then you're still on like a version before 1.02. Then you find the outfit after either a big fight or help from Cosmo in the more open area. You can order Gamora to slash through some pipes and then you find the chest behind some crates. Although again, this is only before update 1.02. After that, so if you just like updated your game, if you're playing on a newer version, you find it in the mines, so which is further in chapter 14. You need to freeze water to create blocks to go to the other side. And once you get to the other side, you actually want to turn around because you will see more water you can freeze. And if you do that, you make more blocks and then you can find the outfit in the location that you reach there. It's not here for us because we already got it before the update, but thanks to Power Picks, we know that it should be here. And the awesome gold armor for Gamora is an early unlock in chapter 14 that cannot be missed. Good outfit number one, so the second one in the menu is his MCU skin. You find it already in chapter one, this after Star-Lord's cutscene with the stone. Now you're still with Groot and Rocket, they go to the left, but you want to go to the right here to find the chest for Groot's MCU skin. One of my favorite Groot outfits is the third one in the menu, which you find at the end of chapter 3 after taking out the more tankier alien creatures. One is captured in the cage that you're going to use. You have to order Groot to make a bridge here and then you can turn to the right or left. For the outfit we want to go to the left. Shoot to make an opening, make an ice block, and then just follow the path to get the outfit. Groot outfit number 4 is near the end of chapter 5. It's the Nova Core outfit. 
At one point, you want to find a Milano again and have to fight your way through many enemies in the small corridor. So after clearing these enemies, you can kind of run around and explore. But all the guardians will be waiting for you in a room with a lot of generators. Search that room and then you will find the outfit right here. Good outfit number five is in chapter 10 and this one can be tricky. So at the end of this chapter, you reach this dark part of the cave and Groot will light it up. So in this area, you want to hug the right side and then search for an opening with the purple light from the chest. There's also a different crack you don't want to go through there because then you cannot go back. So really try, find this opening, go through it, get the outfit and then return to the bigger area of the dark cave. In chapter 12, we find Groot outfit number 6. So... This is kind of pretty far in that chapter already. At some point you can order Gamora to cut through some wires. And then you're hogging the wall to get to the other side. Now you can push the block here. But don't do that just yet. No, we want to go to the left here instead. And then use the wind element to pull this towards you. Now you create this secret pathway. Or the rocket to remove the electricity once you get there. And then you can safely get to the outfit chest. Good outfit number 7 is in chapter 13. And near the start you find some ice worms. And then with the wind element make an opening for the guardians to crouch through. You can then order Groot to make a bridge. And then you see some like resources behind the spikes. We want to continue on the right hand side here. Hug the wall and then you can go to the left. But we want to go to the right because that is where you find the chest with the outfit. And just like with the other guardians, the gold armor for Groot is an unlock early in a chapter 14 through story progression. So that's how you get all the outfits. Of course, if you find the video helpful, then don't leave a like, subscribe for more Guardians content. And totally check out our outfit showcase video by clicking on the screen here. For now, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.